Hello and welcome to part 4 of the World of Warcraft video series guide to the Daily Garrison Quest, Mastering the Menagerie. In today's episode, we'll be taking on the Podlings. In last episode, what was it? Oh yeah, the easiest one yet. Uh, the Beaconator took him down with just one pet. Next is Whelpling. And the second pet we used was, if I can remember, Lofty Librum. Very easy. Now the podlings are named Queen Floret, which will be starting out the battle, followed by King Floret. So really look harmless, but they are pretty annoying and they've got little sharp teeth, I think. Yeah, they're little monsters, basically. Okay, the pets I've chosen for these two are Bucktooth Flapper, you've seen him before. The only ability he'll be using is Tail Slap. You can find this guy in the Jade Forest. And once again, as well, paired with Dancing Water Skimmer. I'll be using the abilities Water Jet, Cleansing Rain, and Pump. You can find this little guy in Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Third pet doesn't matter, I've just chosen this one here at random. You can pick whatever you want. Alright then, let's get started. Now they both have pretty much the same abilities. Queen Floret has Club, and King Floret has... what is it? Bash? Punch. It's just a basic humanoid type attack that does moderate damage. They've also got a 5 round cooldown ability, Fist of the Forest, that deals a high amount of damage. Which you shouldn't be too worried about because you will probably only see it used once while they're active. And Righteous Inspiration, this will pretty much one shot your pet if it is followed by Fist of the Forest. It increases their damage done, speed, and I think just those two things by 100%. It's pretty OP, but it's only got an 8 round cooldown, so just like Fist of the Forest, you will only see it once. Now their speed stat's not too bad, so you shouldn't have a tough time getting a pet faster than they are. Since Bucktooth Flapper's a beast, he won't take high amount of damage from Club or Punch. And once he's taken down below 50%, he'll do 25% extra damage. Most of the time, I think, I don't think I've gotten one attempt so far where Bucktooth Flapper has died to Queen Floret. Most of the time, yeah, Queen Floret will fall before Bucktooth Flapper. And once King Floret comes out, you might only get one shot in before, there you go, that big hit. That was Fist of the Forest. So we've got five rounds until he can use it again. But this guy won't have 5 rounds. Now as is normal for Dancing Water's camera, I'm going to buff Pump and Cleansing Rain. But to start with, I'm going to use Pump because using Cleansing Rain now without any missing HP is kind of a waste. There you go, I got some HP missing and it's not a total waste. King Floret has only done two punches so far. There you go, Righteous Inspiration. Now since he's already killed Bucktooth Flapper with Fist of the Forest, he's only gonna punch me next. There it is, damage and speed increased. About 600 damage. Now my Dancing Water Skimmer has a low attack rating, 244. Uh, I don't know if you'll, yours will be as high or low. But keeping in mind that once you get King Floret below 1200, that's where you can unload Pump. Because it's done a consistent 1202 damage. And there you have it the 
royal podlings, whatever you want to call them. Podling royalty. Plants. Prince. I don't know. Alright, now just give me a sec here while I look over my pets and see what other type of composition I can use to take these guys down. Alright, that didn't take long. Uh, what I've chosen for the second attempt is Moss Bite Skitterer. I'll use Gnaw, which deals extra damage if the user goes first. Which I will, because my speed stat is higher than the theirs. I think 260 for one of them. And I think I'll use Ravage if I can actually see myself getting a kill in. And since it's a beast, I can... I'll probably get my HP down low enough for the passive to become active and make a kill. Oh yeah, you can get this guy from Shadow Moon Valley in... Uh, <laughs> what's the name? Draenor. Mm, I forget where exactly. Let me see. If I had to guess... Let's see... This area. Can't think of somewhere else you might be able to, but then again, and maybe over here by the burial fields. Anyways, second pet I've chosen is Water Raveling. I'm just going to spam Water Jet and maybe Geyser. Geyser is a good one because it inflicts a stun, letting me get a free turn in. And third pet, as all usual so far, it doesn't really matter, I've just left it as is. You know, you know, just for fun, I'll pick something... Whatever I want. Chicken, why not? Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna spam Gnaw. Until I can get this guy low enough. That I might be able to get a kill with Ravage. So, once King Floor comes out, I might be able to stand up against him longer than one turn. Probably not though, HP's getting pretty low. If I had a water based attack, I might be able to. Yeah, that critical hit he held out, but it wasn't enough. Alright, let's just take out Queen Floret with a water jet. Lamb. And now it's as if we took out uh, Queen Floret with Moss Bite Skitterer, and King Floret came out and killed Skitterer. Doesn't matter. Can you start it with Geyser so it can count down while we're spamming away with water jet? Now he did just use shift to the forest. Next, his next move will be was it punch? Yeah, punch for about 600 damage. There you go. Now it actually looks like I may need my third pet. Good thing I chose a level 25 instead of not. Now what attacks do I have? Uh, reduce the damage my target deals. Eggs. Sure, spam eggs. Damage over time. It's always good. And I haven't been keeping track, but Fist of the Forest should still be on cooldown. I'll just hit it with a peck or two, and that'll be that. Eggs. <laughs> nah. So humiliating. I was going to go with a peck, but eggs is just funnier, isn't it? Oh, there you go. You don't need exactly the same pets I've chosen in the first round or second round. Okay, if you want, you can get this guy in from Plucky Johnson in Thousand Needles. It's a little out of the way place. If I can remember, he is somewhere up along this cliff edge selling these chickens. Well, that's it for this video. These guys were pretty easy to take down. Now, 
in the first place. I thought it was pretty cheap that their Fist of the Forest was so OP, and when paired with their uh, Righteous Inspiration. But I made quick work of them, didn't I? Well, that's it for fifth, no, fourth episode. Fifth one, next one, is the Gronlings. Uh, I believe there are two of them. They may look mean, but yeah, just like these two, they'll go down pretty easily. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Till then, be swell, stay well, farewell.